Hello. Uh, today I want to talk about something that I read and saw after waking up as I was preparing to get ready for work. And it's very disturbing. Um, I'm in a Liberty University alumni. I received my bachelor's there in religion and Christian counseling. And uh, great college, great education, um, very special professors are there. But the president, Jerry Farwell Jr., is once again back in the news with very disturbing incident. There were, there's photos posted there that came across, I believe, an Instagram where he's got his arm around a woman saying that there's something, a possible drink in his hand and got a zipper actually down. Now, why am I making a video about this? For those of you that's followed this channel, or if you haven't followed this channel, my channel is about evangelism and reaching those that are lost for Christ. And it's about exposing Satan for who he is and his devices. And I'm making this because I was just thinking about where we can be a stumbling block. The Bible tells us not to be a stumbling block. It tell, you don't want to trip somebody up that's weaker. You don't want to, in other words, those that are lost out there that maybe are seeking God or wanting to know more about God or new into the Christian realm and just now learning about God, you don't want to be responsible for being tripping them up and discouraging them from their Christian walk. You don't want to do that. Jesus told us to let our light shine. So that, you know, we can glorify God in heaven. We are to do that as Christians. And it is shameful. Shame on him as the president of the university to have his images out there. It's in the past, several years back, I believe he was in a club, nightclub, and kicking it at a club or something. There's nothing wrong with going with the clubs. But as a Christian and as the president of the university that your father founded, you have to, and in the college, for those of you, if you're on campus, I wasn't on campus, I did my degree online, but if you're on the Christian camp, most Christian campuses, there's a strict code of conduct. And he, as a university, I mean, they're very strict with the students there and everything. But then as president, you're the example and you going out and here you are kicking it like you're this in a uh, college party scene. You're the president. And why are you going to have a picture with your zipper, a picture? Why do you think that that would be OK to have a picture like that? I don't know that I don't know the reasoning behind it, but I know that it's shameful. It's once again, there's been so many shameful things that Jerry Falwell Jr. has done and he needs to repent. If he truly loves the Lord and has a desire for the Lord, he needs to repent. But here's the trouble. The danger is, is that when we live uh, basically a selfish in a way, a self-centered life, and we kind of uh, live this life without God at the center we become the blinded as far as with our sins and our actions have become further and further away from God. And he may be, I hope he's not at the point where he don't think none of his actions are wrong because that's a dangerous place to be. We need to pray for him. Pray for the professors that's at the university. Pray for the students that go there because this is not good. This is what I always talk about, you know, as far as me being a, always being a minister. I remember early on and seeing other ministers and everyone wanting to be a minister, wanting to be a pastor in the limelight. And then I knew of a young pastor that got a pastor at 21 years old and he was smoking weed uh, because I know because this girl I was dating at the time, she was best friends with uh, his girlfriend and he was beating on her. And, and it was this all kind of craziness going on. He eventually ended up going to jail for uh, accusation of messing around with a nine-year-old child. And 
coming to find out he didn't do it, but it, he, the circle he had surrounded himself to, and it humbled him. Now he's on, many years later, he's on track now. But this is the kind of thing that can happen. You could become blinded and find yourself way off course. And as Christians, we are not to uh, give the image that, the, for, for supply an image, and live in a way that we trip people up or have people look at us as, yeah, look at that hypocrite. You guys are fools. Well, I don't want no part of Jesus and your religion. Look at you. You're no better than what I am. Matter of fact, you guys are worse. So that's why I wanted to make this message really quick is, is that just we have to pray for those. We don't, it, we, because we are in these last days and it's very important that we get God's word out there, that we cannot be living a life to where we trip somebody up and become that stumbling block or that our light is not shining and that we have people that are turning away and not wanting to be part of Christ. Don't allow, don't, you know, if you're battling with some sins and certain things in life, we all battle with stuff. Fight and try to stand strong, but whatever you do, I mean, don't let social media. <sighs> Jerry Falwell has continued. There's always something. The university name is this being, uh, as far as Christianity and everything is being shamed. Don't allow someone to shame, to be able to laugh at you and say, I thought you were a Christian. I thought that you this or that. Don't give them that opportunity. Because that's what Jerry Farward Jr. is doing right now. And we have to pray for him, pray for the university, pray that God renew his mind, pray that the God remove the scales that the devil has placed upon his eyes to where he thinks there's no wrong or whatever. I don't know what he thinks at this point. So if you like this quick video and this update, hit the like, subscribe if you haven't hit the notification so that you can notify. I make videos a few times a week. And this channel, as I mentioned, that we go forth and talk about issues is what I talk about is issues that the church don't want to talk about, that want to stay silent about. And I expose Satan and put him on notice. And that's what happens here. So until next time, take care and God bless.